Piero. Download, download, download. Here we go, here we go. Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. So in this video we will do the token head image or the token image head. Anyway, we're going to take an image with the head and we're going to make the head talk. So I've searched on YouTube before and there is no tutorial in DaVinci Resolve 15, only tutorials in uh, After Effects. So a subscriber of mine asked me to do the tutorial. So here it is. So first thing first, I'm going to be working with this image. So I'm just going to put it uh, in my timeline just like this. Okay, so we have a beautiful black and white image with the with an old man, and we are going to be working with this image. So with the image selected, the first thing you want to do is go to the Fusion tab. Okay, because the Fusion tab is like where the magic happens. So basically, we are heading to the Fusion to just make mask and composite in. It's something very easy to do in, in DaVinci Resolve. Doesn't take, doesn't take a lot of time. It, it basically just mask and, and, um, and composite. So I'm gonna select the media in node just like this. I'm gonna make uh, my viewer a single and just zoom in a little bit to the image. Okay, cause we wanna crap the mouth. So 50% should be good, just like that. Um, the next thing I wanna do is grab the polygon, okay? Very important. So grabbing the polygon, I'm going to select the area of his mouth. So starting from here, you know it like the, the pen tool in Photoshop and After Effects. This is normal, you don't have to worry about this. Just come over here, uncheck solid, and put inverts. And you check inverts, sorry. And just, I'm just gonna like trace the area of his, uh, you know, the jaw and the mouth. It's very hard to do the selection with, with too, too much beard. But uh, I'm trying. This should be enough. So the idea is that we want to select the mouth and the jaw, of course, and get rid of everything else. We just want to keep the mouth. We just want to keep the mouth selected. I'm going to change the zoom to 25%. That looks good. Just like this. Okay, so now I'm going to invert that and check solid. Okay, so as you can see here, we have the mouth over here. Okay, a nice mouth over here. So I'm gonna change again the zoom and put it to fits. I know this is too much, I'm gonna leave it at 50, uh, 25%. Just like this. There we go. Looks good. The next step is that I'll go to the media in node and then click on control space. It's going to open like this select tool window and you look for crop, the crop node, this one. But make sure you have the media in node selected, okay? Very important. Don't select the uh, the polygon node. It's not going to work. Click on add. Now we can animate the mouth. The mouth. All right. So animation in DaVinci is always so easy. You just click the dot here while moving the playhead. Now this is a fine selection. I'm not going, you can adjust that further, but for the sake of this tutorial, I want to make this video as fast as possible. Anyway, so I'm going to go to the Y offsets. Click on this dot right here. 
then I'm gonna move this the playhead around 10 seconds maybe and change the value of the Y offset to 90 okay you can change that to 100 if you want I'll stick with 90 you click here in the empty space again you move you can move 10 by 10 or 20 by 20 seconds it depends and you repeat the same thing okay because you want you, we want him to talk so he's opening and closing his uh, mouth over and over again and we keep doing the same thing until we are done it's so tiring anyway I'm going to speed this up a little bit Okay, so now we're pretty much done. If I click play, it's too slow. So if I move my playhead, you can see the animation I'm talking about. So now we have we have the animated mouth. Okay, so this is one thing done. The next thing is we need to duplicate this image. So I'm going to add another one here, just about here. Okay, but first uh, let me go back to my fusion tab and I want to copy this polygon node so control C to copy the polygon node okay or control uh, on a Mac it's a command I think I'm sure it's a command on Mac so control C we go back to the edit tab okay we move the freaking playhead to the next image and we select the next image or the duplicated image okay again uh, I go back to the fusion tab and now of course this is a new image so there's nothing in the uh, fusion tab and I want to click on the graph node and hit control or command V to copy the other or to paste I'm sorry the other polygon and then just uh, link this polygon to the media end but this time we want to do the opposite thing so we don't want this one to be selected we want to mask the jaw and we want to leave the face alone so you select the polygon and just hit on uh, you check inverts and if I zoom like this I just say 25% uh, you can see that the mouth you can see that the mouth is masked okay nothing so that's it we go back again to the edit tab <coughs> I'm sorry about that this looks scary for sure and we just put one on top of the other select my timeline and now if we play hold on okay if we play you can see that he's talking okay that wasn't so hard wasn't it so in my case I have a black black background in case you want to change the background or change the color inside his mouth you can go to the effect library look for generators um, you look for solid color and you give it any color that you want say I want it to be red maybe okay red not changed I don't know why select this red this red is fine there you go and just put it between click on this rectangle with the solid with the with the solid color selected just like that and you just adjust it to the mouth area okay maybe put it under here we go you don't put it in between you put it under okay
here we go that wasn't that hard wasn't it anyway if, if you like the videos make sure you subscribe you like the video share with your friends if you need something done you can just leave me a comment i'll see how i can do it in davinci resolve uh i'll start making videos soon about these guys right here um and yeah that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching of course i forgot to tell you that you can add an audio file here and synchronize it with the uh uh, with the mouth okay it's feasible super easy so thank you for watching and see you on the next tutorial